Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Clank Legacy Acquisitions Incorporated, but before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you know what they are. And if you've done that, well then, welcome to the world of Clank, and welcome to my wife Jen. Hi, honey pie. Hello. Jen's Hello. Oh, I thought you were going to go silent the whole thing or something. <laughs> Sign language. Right. Um, my advanced copy of Clank Legacy just showed up in the mail, and Jen said, we're playing this right now. <laughs> and because it's a legacy game, of course, once we start playing it, I won't be able to film it for you later on, because we'll start putting stickers on the board and who doing who knows what. Um, so uh, we agreed we would just start playing this uh, with you guys watching all along. And... Uh, I imagine there will be a few little spoilers here and there. We'll give you ample opportunity to bail if you don't want story spoilers or sticker spoilers or whatever. We have no idea what we're going to be coming across as we deck build our way to fortune and glory as the newest members of the Acquisitions Incorporated Guild. Okay. Does that sound good, Honey Pie? Sounds great. Right. Well, we've got the Book of Secrets here, which is a big old book of story snippets and whatnot. And we are supposed to read... Uh, game 1 prologue, because we are starting in game 1 of 10. Apparently, the campaign will be over once we have gone through 10 full games, at which point this will effectively be a standalone, customized version of Clank. Uh, this is a two-sided board, by the way. This is kind of the overworld. On the other side is the underworld, which is going to be more like what regular Clank is. Mm -hmm. And we're supposed to be starting in the overworld. The prologue is as follows. Ah, oh, adventuring. It's a lifestyle for the phenomenally skilled or the truly desperate. Or in your case, those who are a little of both. You hope to become the newest franchise of Acquisitions Incorporated, the famed adventuring for hire conglomerate. But first, you have to build a personal brand with good local recognition. To do that, you might have to help the citizens. Ugh. Okay, so first rule, um, we have to choose a name for the old roadside inn over here that we are going to turn into our franchise for uh, Acquisition Incorporated. And while we're at it, we're also supposed to name the town over here that's right next to our roadside inn. Jen and I did discuss this ahead of time. Yep. Because uh, we didn't want to make you uh, wait as we just... Uh, deliberated. Deliberated over a million different. Uh, so, let me go on ahead now. And this is a legacy game, so this is for realsy reals. And am I doing it? Or you have nicer handwriting than I me. Have nicer handwriting. All right, so Jen will do it. What was it? The plucky cluck. The plucky cluck. All right. That is much nicer than if I had done it. All righty. And meanwhile, over here, what is the name of the town? Beagleville. Wasting away in Beagleville. All <laughs> right. Um, I don't know if you can reach that. Uh -huh. Can you? Yep. All right, with your with your lovely, wonderful handwriting. All right, Beagleville and the Plucky Cluck. This is our base of operations. Here is the new upgraded miniature version uh, for folks who are used to uh, Clank. You're used to like the little wooden meeple version. These are very, very cool, all the miniatures that come with the game. So anyway, we're starting out in the Plucky Cluck, out just outside of Beagleville. And the Book of Secrets continues. All righty. The greatest danger facing you is the dragon Malathrex, a powerful creature who lords over the area and all the people in it. Fortunately, his followers are far less intimidating, a small but resilient cult with a thing for weird poetry and giant reptiles. Kids today. A good howl now, uh, a good howl now, or good haul now. Uh, <laughs> right, that makes more sense. Obviously, I'm thinking of beagles. A good haul now will look great on your application to the Acquisitions Incorporated Home Office. Good luck! Alrighty, so we have to fetch the mission report document and fill in our names and character names and keep it ready nearby for the end of the game. That is this, where we permanently keep track of who we are and what our character... Well, we can do that later. We haven't even named our characters. Well, it's just going to be Duck and Jennifer, right? Probably. Well, you want to do it then? All right, let's... Hand me the pin. All right, so adventurer name... Well, so you're green and I'm blue, right? Um, I am green and you're blue. That's yes. Okay, adventure name, Jennifer. Alrighty. I guess we could have done all this ahead of time, folks, but you want to get the entire experience. And you want to be duck? Yeah, of course. Okay. Always duck. 
I know you folks think of me as Rado, but Jen always calls me Duck, which is like a whole thing. All righty. Um, and the known aliases, which is, say, our actual names, oh. because Duck is an alias of... Rado. I guess you could say Rado, yeah. Yeah. And Jennifer is an, uh, is an alias. Your alias of Jennifer is just Jen. Okay. <laughs> Very appropriate. All right. All righty. And so uh, over the 10 rounds, we will keep track of our score and whatnot, because this is a competitive game where we're always trying to compete. We both work. We're, we're both trying to get our franchise up and off the ground. And the rules actually talked about how you can try and play as cutthroat as you want and cut people off, or you can kind of take it easy with a bit more esprit de corps. It's totally up to us how we want to proceed, because we are members of the same fledgling Guild. I guess it's a guild, yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. So, it's actually based on a very popular role-playing um, YouTube series, I guess, called Acquisition Incorporated. I don't know much about it. But anywho, right. So, we have uh, filled out our mission report document. We've got our player deck boxes. I'm the green player. Oh, and I'm supposed to write my name on it. Oh. Unfortunately, yours, uh, the prototype we've got, yours oh. doesn't have a little. It says, hello, my name is... Duck. Duck. And you would put your name on there, but we'll just have to go without. There's a few little goofs uh, with this prototype. Like, mercenaries are supposed to be companions, but it doesn't say that. Hello, my name is Duck. And so, we have associate status that we're trying to work our way up, at which point certain story events will happen. Do you have the same numbers on yours? No. Oh. No, 10, 79. Yeah, one second. All right, so. Okay. So, Jen's doing hers. Okay. And also, we have personal goals. And we were looking. We have completely different personal goals. Once, four times, I score a new artifact... And I note the value of the artifact. Once I've done that four times, I do a check. Once I have scored three mugs, I get a check. Once I have scored more than 20 gold in or 20 or more gold in one game, I get a check. And um, I just have to do this once. I have to do this four times before I get the check. And defeat a Dran agent. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Jen, meanwhile, her personal goals are get the first artifact of a game twice, consume a potion four times, touch five different spaces in one turn. That's going to require a lot of boots. And sacrifice an intern. Four times. Four times. I don't know what that means. Presumably, um, these are cards that we can add to our deck because, for folks who didn't know, Clank is famously a deck building game where, over the course of the game, we build our deck full of cards that let us move and buy more cards and fight monsters. And we are racing. The way we win, because this is a competitive game, is to rush down out into the wilderness, pick up one of these big artifacts, and then get back alive before the evil dragon wipes us out. Okay. So, I don't think there's anything more to say, Honey Pie. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to go first, which is why I've got three Clank in the uh, in, in the Clank area. Jen's got two. Uh, we've shuffled over deck. One, two, three, four, five. A starting hand of five cards. And we are off to the races. Okay, I can burgle, I can scramble, I can stumble, and I can sidestep. I can do a little bit of everything. All right, so basically amongst all this, I have got two boots. That means I can move up to two spaces. And normally, sometimes I need two boots to move between one space or another. Um, also, I've got three skill, which means I can buy... Like, this requires three skill. This requires two skill. Wait a minute, there was something else, though. Hold on a second. Did I do everything in the book? Uh -huh. I think I jumped the gun a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Ah, yes, I, I thought there was something missing. So... We need to... Right, we've done our player decks. Now, fetch card one from the card porium and place it in the contracts row. And now, we set out to retrieve an artifact and return to headquarters in order to complete our application. So, uh, the game comes with a bunch of stuff. There's lots of sealed envelopes and whatnot, but there's also the card porium, which is full of a bunch of cards that we're going to be doing. And I think... This is number one. Uh, this is our first contract. Meet the locals. When a player ends their turn on the castle at the center of the map, all right here, if you end your turn here, read story entry 19. Now, it's possible Jen and I might play the game and never come here. In which case, well, that event will never happen, and the next time we play, we'll have to bring it back out, because, obviously, that contract, meeting somebody at the castle, I'm sure, is a big part of the overarching story. And don't worry, folks, I'm sure we'll end up going there, but before we do, if you don't want anything spoiled, we'll let you avoid spoilers. But, I mean, so far, we've just been spoiling the first couple minutes of the game. Right, so we're ready to go. I am ready to go. And, um, right, from here, well... I'm going to spend my two boots to go boop, boop. And um, although if I stopped here, I could spend seven bucks to get a canoe, which you need to travel along water, which is a new concept. Or I could spend seven bucks to get a crown, which is worth ten points. Seven bucks is seven points. Turning into a crown for ten is great, but I can't do it, so I'm going to stop right there because there's no other paths to follow. And now I've got one, two, three skill. 
That goes in my discard pile, which means... Did you get any clank? Um, did I get any clank? Yes, I sure did. Thank you. I stumbled, which meant I made more noise that the dragon might hear me. And yeah, that was the only one. So I made a bit of noise with this stumble, which is not good. I have three now skill to spend. And um, let's see. I could get a consultant who is a companion. I could get an explorer who's all... There's always plenty of these to grab, but these are special. They refill... After a turn is over, I can discard a card to draw two cards. Ooh, that's very nice. I could, with my consultant here, I could discard my stumbles to avoid the clank and draw other cards. I'm going to hire a consultant. You can just get a quick a look at that to get an idea of the art and whatnot. So she cost me three. She is worth one victory point at the end of the game, and she is a companion. All right, so if I still had more money, I could buy more, because uh, that doesn't fill up until the end of the round. But actually, that was it. Uh, I moved a couple spaces, I bought one card, and now, at the end of my round, as Jen was doing, we refill. And if this was an event card, an event would happen. It does say, upon arrival, all players got one clank. The town guard shouted about us being here, and so thanks. Just gave us away, gave our position away to the dragon. If this had um, had a picture of the dragon here, the dragon would attack now. That's the main um, engine that gets us attacked. Alrighty, so it is now Jen's turn. I'm going to get five more cards in my hand, ready for my next turn, and what are you up to, Honey Pie? Okay, well I have two... Um, two boots. Two boots. So One, two. And Welcome. I've got four to spend. Alrighty. So... So Jen can, I mean, she could buy a mercenary and a concealed dagger, or, you know, and this is interesting, the helpful NPC. This is the beginning of legacy stuff. The rules didn't say anything about this. It just says, um, when we buy, get him, fill in one blank space on the card. Um, with anything we want. We can say what his talents are, what his personal items are, what his favorite quote is, and presumably we'll get to learn more about the uh, helpful NPC. Oh, we can even give him his name okay, over so time. I'm going to take those two. You are taking those two. Yep. All right, well, upon acquiring, you have to fill in one of those spaces now. I will. I will. And what's the other thing you got? Minus two clank. Minus two clank. She got her concealed dagger. Oh, no, 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 sorry. No, no, that's when you play it. Upon acquiring, right. yes. you will get one sword. Now, unfortunately, if you had two swords total, you could actually take out a cultist nearby to make some yeah. gold. One sword isn't going to do you any good. Yep. But you're still going to take it anyway. Well, I think so. Okay, because you could get a mercenary, which gives you skill and two swords. Oh, actually, that is better, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, Although yeah, this would be this would be this better nice. if you could use that sword right now. Yeah, but I still like minus two clank. Yeah, okay, cool. Play. You're going to be okay. sneaky with your concealed dagger the and give him a name or his favorite quote or whatever you want. Alignment. Um, you know, you could say he's good. You could say he's evil. You could say he's indifferent. You could say whatever you want, I guess. Quote. Oh, I'm going to have to think for a minute. Go, All right. Go on well, Jen's going to be thinking about that. Um, she's going to... The helpful NPC whose name we don't know yet. And in the meantime, at the end of Jen's turn, an emerald came out and an innkeeper came out. No events or anything. So now it's back to me, back to my turn. Here. And oh, F.O. He's our forward observer. Yes. Good old F.O. So this goes into Jen's discard pile. F.O. is joining us. Yes. I don't know if F.O. is watching. F.O. is a real, uh, one of Jen's best friends in the world. A real life friend. All righty. So, here's my new hand. It's not very good. I'm going to stumble a little bit more, which means I make even more noise. My clank is accumulating. And um, I'm not going to move at all. I've got four to spend. So, what do I want? Uh, deck building style. I cannot afford that emerald, which require, costs five. I can't uh, pay for the Merchant's Tome, which costs five. But uh, hey, I could just get another companion, uh, an innkeeper. Let's see. Uh, she's worth a victory point. Um, she makes a lot of noise as she follows me around. But if I'm on a town space, I can heal. Sometimes it's uh, nice to sleep on a bed as opposed to a collapsed tombstone or whatever. Um, right. And she generates three skill. So she's not good now, but she will help me buy stuff in the future. So yes, I've got another companion. I'm going to make all the noise. I'm going to be the loudest clanker you ever saw. All right. So that was my turn. I don't have any movement. I've done everything. And so at the end of the turn, uh, Synergy comes up. <laughs> That's a card? What is it? Uh, it's a... Uh, <clears throat> Clank is very well known for having its pop culture references. Of course, this would be a Predator, Carl Weathers and Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, all that. But anyway, it's also just synergy. So anyway, um, that was not a thing. I have to reshuffle, so hopefully some of my new cool cards will appear. Hopefully I'll be able to get past wherever we are. Oh, that does look nice. And I've got one, two, three, four, five. And it is a Jenster. Okay, well, I've got... 
two cymbals. So the same thing. So Jen now made a bunch of noise, but yep. she'll get rid of that noise later. And I'll just go ahead and buy the twin scimitars. All righty. So that's that. And, oh, a rival adventurer comes out. He's another person to... Rec uh, to oh, no, this is somebody to fight. Uh, see, you could beat this guy with one sword. Oh, but finally. in the meantime, the dragon strikes. Now, this is pretty much the way it's always worked. Whenever the dragon strikes... We take all of the accumulated clank. So Jen has missed her opportunity to clear that clank out. It all goes in the sack, Jack, along. Now, there's, if I recall correctly, 10 blank cubes in here. And now there's all these cubes. And in a two-player game, the dragon starts here. This is his rage level, which means we draw three cubes. And if we draw Jen's or my cubes, we take damage. All righty. You want to draw? Or... You go ahead. All righty. Uno, dos, tres. And Jen oh. takes her first point of damage. And uh, these things... Hooray. Okay. And I'm trying to remember, do they go back in the sack? It's been quite a while since we played Clank. I'm just going to double check that really quick like. Because I only briefly skimmed the rules before we started playing. Because I figured I remember how to play Clank. Yeah, and we were so excited to start playing. Yes, all right. Um, take all, shake it up, draw. Um, each blank cube is set aside, but each colored cube represents right. Yeah, so they don't go back in the sack, Jack. All right, so that was that for Jen. It is my turn. Let's see if I got some cool stuff here. All right, I have no walking. I am not going anywhere. But I am also not, and I am uh, my innkeeper who just announces me everywhere I go. <laughs> All righty, I uh, have some clank. If I were in a town, I would heal, but I'm not hurt like Jen. And I have, let's see, I'm just burgle, 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 burgling. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven skill I get to spend. I am going shopping. Remember how bummed I was I couldn't afford the emerald? I can afford it now. Uh, so let's get the synergy. I don't even know what it was, but Jen was so excited about it. So that costs two and a merchant's tome. This is worth one victory point for each gem and tome uh, in my deck at the end of the game. And it gives me a lot more as opposed to this, which is just worth five points. But upon acquiring it, I'll make a lot of noise getting this gem. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take the merchant's tome. And that is that. I was rich. And new stuff comes out. It's another dragon attack! And now, even if this had been a dragon attack as well, the dragon only attacks once per round. So, um, one more cube goes in. And we're drawing three one more time. Uno, dos, tres. And, alrighty, we both take a point of damage. Boop, boop. And it is Jen's turn. Now, what we're trying to do is, story stuff aside, we're trying to pick up, get out to one of these relics pick it up, and then bring it back here before we get KO'd, because these will be worth points. Well, I'm really bummed because I got my concealed dagger out. Oh, no! However, I did stumble, so this one... Oh, well, okay, yeah, you'll do that. ...will actually come back. And so, me. right, so the concealed dagger, you didn't stumble. Yep. It might, I... And you have two swords, which if nothing you could right. use to fight these, or you could fight the cultist. And you've got one movement, which I think means you will probably move over here to the forest. Yes, of course. Now, now the forest is a place where you get lost. If you know of Clank, it's like the crystal caverns where um, once you go in, if you have any more use boots, you can't use them anymore. You can't move anymore. By the way, I haven't showed you our miniatures. Here's Jen and here's me. I always like playing short characters because I'm tall in real life. So I assume you're going to walk in here. Yes, but now, do you want to go in a minute? Yes, you can do this in any order you want. Okay. So, so do you want to walk in here, which will trigger a story event... Because maybe you'll get some money. You don't know what's going to happen. I literally have no idea what's going to happen as soon as somebody steps in there. Okay, well, before I step in there, I am going to attack the Dragonling. Okay. And get three All Right, dollars. so you defeated the Dragonling, and that got you... You are rich! Well... I'm rich, I tells you. got more than I had before. All righty. So that's that. Um, I've done the clank. I've done the... Oh, hey. What? Did this... This came out. Or has this been out the whole that time? That has been out the whole time. Okay. As part of setup... I totally missed this. So when I was setting up, any arrival effects were supposed to have happened. So when I first set up, we should have each had one more on there. And by now, of course, they would have been in the bag. So we'll just say we haven't drawn them yet. Okay. That was just my dumb... Folks, that's why you watch with the click on subtitles turned on. I'm sure Paula would have pointed that out. Okay, and then so, I, I will buy. So you're done fighting. Yep. Um, you're done stumbling. You're done uh, getting rid of your clank. You're going to buy. And then you're going to walk yep. after everything. You're I not going to walk so. out first. Okay, well, go shopping. Yeah, because I, I, I think if I get more boots or something, it doesn't help me anyway. So. Yep. Um, I have three to spend. That gives me the town guard or, hmm, the explorer. Yep. Yeah. These are always available to buy, and this is nothing but five points. 
Although I want them because I have a merchant's tome, which means other tomes are worth more points to me. Yeah, nice. Well, I think I want to have some more boots. So boots. Explore. Okay. Right. So in that, that, that and that cost that cost three. Yeah. I had and you three. had three. Okay, yep. cool. And so you had one boot. Yep. And you're going to move it on. And if she had more boots, she would have gotten stuck here, lost in the forest anyway. Now, the rule book, I don't know what these are. It just says these are mystical symbols and to ignore them unless the game tells us otherwise. Right. So we're ignoring that. But Jen has just entered a new story bit. And folks, that means it's time for a spoiler, potentially. So this would be your chance to get off. We're about to spoil the first real... I mean, everybody, you can't avoid it. Everybody's going to see this as soon as they head out of town. But if you don't want to see this, you can go on ahead and hit that eye up in the top right corner of the screen now and just hear some... Uh, Jen and I, we're going to have to play this a few more times before I have any final thoughts. <laughs> so there'll be a time warp, but you can hear what, what Jen and I thought of what we played so far um, after we play a few more games. Or, or maybe the whole thing. I don't know. Actually, we can do it. We can do this... When we're done with a spoiler, if you want to just mute it for Well, now. no, because what I was going to say is, oh. they have the choice to go to Final Thoughts, or you can go to the extended playthrough, whereupon we will oh. start off with that story, and we'll continue. And we'll assume, if you're watching the extended, because you have the basics. You move around, you pick stuff up, you build your deck. It's just like Clank has always been. There's a few changes, like boats, which we need the river for, uh, multiple towns. Oh, there's these carriages. Spend a boot to get on the carriage, and then teleport over here by spending a boot to get off. So there's a few little things, but for the most part, at this point, it's regular Clank. Um, but if you want to see us explore some of that Clank, like uh, there's infinite numbers of the little ones. It's not like there's just one. Every time you come in here, you get another one. We're going to go to the castle, obviously, well, and find out what the to. big story is. Yeah. If you want to know that, you can go to the extended playthrough, or you can go to Final Thoughts if you want to stay spoiler-free. Your choice in five, four, three, two, one.